What's up Samurai? My name is Ayushi and we are back in Sportro. And today is a very special video, albeit very, very delayed. So uh, if you didn't already check it out, I did end up making a video or a live stream rather uh, of me unlocking the rest of the items in the star chart, the skill tree and trove. How do you end up actually unlocking everything in the star chart? Well, I'll tell you, you end up uh, basically going all the way down to one specific section so that you can end up unlocking the special mount or ally or whatever. And then you end up respecking so that you can then end up going down a different tree and then you reset and go down a different tree and so on and so on and so forth until you end up having all of the rare star chart items. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today, which is going to include a couple different mounts, a mag rider, but more specifically, the best allies in the game currently. These allies will basically be your upgraded Raptor Berserker, your upgraded Paragon allies. They just give a crap ton of light and they also end up giving you the cooldown reduction or the movement speed, depending on which class you're actually, you know, trying to go for. So I'm not gonna be hitting these in any particular order. It just depends on, I, I don't know, I guess we're going like counterclockwise through it from the top. So all the way over here, which is going to end up being at the end of this skill tree is going to be Major Ursa or Ursa Major, uh, which is going to end up being a mount. I haven't actually checked these out, so it's going to be interesting to see them with you guys and gals. Definitely too big to make a cute baby. Okay, whatever. Anyways, it's a teddy bear. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to say it looks bad, but it also just animates very, very cute and kind of weird. Uh, it is clearly a reskin of one of the elephant mounts, but for some reason they just made a big bear. I mean, okay, whatever, cool, I guess. It's just an ally or a, it's just a mount to flex with, but it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, and then over here at the minor star, there's going to be Ursa Minor. So that's going to end up being up here. So the Ursa Minor ally is actually a pretty good one. It's going to end up giving you 400 light and minus 20% incoming damage, which is pretty good. Damaging enemies has a chance to spawn a healing energy regenerating flower. And he's just going to end up being uh, a little cute teddy bear. Not a bad ally by any means. Not really one that I think most people would end up using just because of the fact that the average player is going to want to end up using the damage allies more so than the defensive ones. But... That will still definitely make you a lot, 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 lot more tanky. So then over here at the minor star of light, which is just right down here, you can end up getting Scorpius, which Scorpius is a really, really good one. This is going to end up being uh, pretty much the best physical ally that you can use depending on the class. It, it gets 400 light, 25% physical damage, uh, gains 15% health when a nearby enemy dies. So on top of the life leech that you will just naturally get uh, within this skill tree by going right here is already just going to end up making you god tier. Uh, so the Scorpion's Extra Life Leech is just beautiful thing. Uh, but it's also going to end up giving you the movement speed boost as well. And it's a Scorpion, so I don't know. I mean, for me, I think I have a weird little fascination with Scorpions of this particular color palette. I hate Scorpions in real life. I've never seen one, but I'd be, I would just be absolutely terrified. I've seen lots of things and what they can end up doing to people. And it's just, ugh. it's like a spider with a weapon on its back, like a knife or something. But anyways, this is, uh, it reminds me of Beast Wars. There was one of the, one of the characters in like the second or third season that ended up kind of being a scorpion. Nobody asked, nobody cares. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. So then over here, the minor star of light, which is going to be right down here. This is not only going to end up being one of the mandatory abilities, which is just giving you more light value, but it also gives you starry skyfire as an ally, which is also going to end up being a pretty good one. So that's what he is. He's a little bird guy. He's got 400 light, 25% magic damage, and increases cooldown recovery speed by 25%. So he's basically going to be one of the best magic damage allies in the entire game. Uh, you know, outside of just whether you want the movement speed one or the one for cooldown reduction, this is going to be the one that you definitely want. I find it funny how some of these bird allies, like this one right here, you can see he's actually almost as big as my character. And then there's the other bird allies, like the ones from the event that we got going on right now that are just like microscopic. It's just, it's very strange how tiny they are, isn't it? So then down here, the minor star of alchemy. So that's going to be whoop, right down here. This is going to end up giving you the charter's chair, which I, th this is a mag rider, right? 
Yeah, Charter's Chair, which is Mag Rider. 25 movement speed, right on the rails, constantly, whatever. Okay, so either way, it is a pretty cool seat. Um, I don't think there's any Mag Rider tracks here. So let me let me see if I can find one in our club world because maybe it actually has like cool V effects when you ride it on Mag Rider Trail or something. I, I don't know. It's been a while since I actually even bothered using any of these. Uh, in fact, let's go to the old Team Pixel Hub. Ah, yes, I'm home. It's so much more colorful here. Uh, so anyways, right over here, we've got Sith Pops old, uh, old, you know, Mag Rider thing from years and years and years ago. Does it have VFX? Anything special? Ooh, I mean, it's got a nice little fire trail behind it. That's for sure. Even though we can't really see it too, too much at this angle. That is still pretty dang cool. I, I actually like that. Yeah. And it fits with this costume too, oddly enough. I, I, I think it just works. So then over here, the Minor Star of Knowledge and Critical, which is whoop, right down here. This is going to end up giving us Starruble. I, Starruble, Struble, I, I don't know. Cool little ally. This guy gives us movement speed. He's also a lizard. I actually really like that guy a lot, a chameleon. He's absolutely adorable. And they actually made his eyes animate properly where he's looking left and right. This might be one of my favorite allies. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen these before. So it gives 400 light, eight movement speed, which is just a nice little passive. And then it gives, uh, you know, the 15% health when a nearby enemy dies and movement speed boost when a nearby, nearby enemy dies. Um, as far as I recall, I'm going to have to double check in this video, but I think some of the other allies that we're missing out of the star chart are actually located in the Paragon level area, like in the Paragon levels. Uh, I'll double check that momentarily though. So then all the way over here, Minor Star of Mining and Hardiness, which is right down here. Uh, this is going to end up giving us Stardust, which as far as I know, Stardust is a mount. Yeah, it is. No, it's an ally actually. Okay, sorry about that. So he's, oh, he's a cute little pony. That's kind of cool actually. 400 light, 20% crit damage, has a chance to recover one flash charge when a nearby enemy dies. That is actually a surprisingly good ally. Albeit very weird, and I don't know how many people would end up actually using this, but honestly, if you're strong enough, you could just use this for like your U10 farming or whatever, just so that you could continuously keep on farming. Like I might have to test this guy out for a little bit and see how useful he is because that's pretty nice. Then I could keep death defying on, even though I don't need death defying anymore, arguably, but I still just keep using it anyway because force of habit. So then if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be the last one, which is Star Sebastian. So that's gonna be way down here. This one's arguably one of the harder ones to get to, which does make sense because Star Sebastian is going to end up being uh, a mount that is, oh my God. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like, what are they called? Like tiny ponies or whatever. And then he's got like wings taped onto him. That's beautiful, dude. And he does glide. It is going to end up being a reskin of the uh, Corgi dragon, which is still one of my favorite dragons. Doesn't shoot fireballs or anything. Looks absolutely stupid. I love him, love, 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 love him. So I just wanted to double check in the Paragon area. This is the ally that you see me constantly using. Everyone's always asking, how come I have like a big white glow around my character? Because I was using Ernie up to this point because I didn't bother getting all of the stuff out of the star chart. So this is out of Paragon levels. You know, he's pretty good as you can see and gives you a protective shield rather than giving us the movement speed. So he's not as good. Uh, this is going to end up being our movement speed magic ally. So this would be where you end up going if you want to end up using the movement speed one versus the cooldown one from the other table. Chance to reduce ability cooldowns where an error by enemy dies. Also gives us more movement speed than the one from the uh, star chart. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, and then there's going to be this weird ally. Gives us extra jump. Also that crit damage and that light value is really, really nice. No passive though. Uh, and then this one, which is a weird laser mancy one. So it doesn't seem like, unless I'm missing the location, it doesn't seem like we have a physical damage ally that gives us the cooldown reduction and gives us 400 light. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But either way, that's going to be everything that you can get out of the star chart, which is pretty cool. I never saw this guy. I really like this merchant. Oh God, maybe I don't like him. He's kind of a scam. Um, 
Either way, that's gonna be everything. I'll have a separate video that's going to highlight the dragon that you get out of the star chart, just because frankly speaking, I think that that could be its whole other category uh, of video all on its own. And in that video, I will probably end up talking about just how expensive that dragon is to get. Now, in order to end up unlocking everything out of the star chart, obviously you have to end up having enough keys, which are right here in the, you know, in the cash shop, you have to have enough keys in order to unlock all of these slots so that you can end up getting all of these items, which is going to run you around 800k cubits without patron. It's basically impossible. That's basically a year's worth of grinding dailies. Uh, and then if you spend money, it's around $400. So that give or take is going to be how much you're going to have to spend in order to unlock all of the slots so that you can get all of the different allies and mounts that we ended up getting. Now, as far as I know, there's also some really, really good allies in the fishing, which is underground over here. I haven't really dabbled with the new fishing update too much just because fishing is just so ungodly boring for me. But that's on my next laundry list of like to do things, but it'll probably be a very long time before I get my fishing maxed out because the way that the new fishing is, is kind of gross. Anyways, smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel. Whoops, there's my merch. Yeah, right. I forgot I'm wearing a beanie. Have a great day, everybody.